this know. is uh, Ricky, and he's pretty much been with the rally from the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, he, this uh, wonderful fellow, believe it or not, uh, is, uh, I believe, 80 what? years old, and uh, has been, uh, he goes around and he collects all the cans <laughs> from, from the uh, campsites for Bob. Yeah. And he does such a wonderful job. Yeah. I think he's the first one up in the morning, yeah, and definitely. he's out there collecting yeah. up after all of us. Yeah. <laughs> he's really, everybody knows Ricky. Yeah. Ricky is, he is uh, a monument here. He's been here for, from day one. So the reason why I wanted to do the thing, uh, the portrait of Ricky is, um, there's more and more people starting to come to this event and, and, and so a lot of people aren't familiar with who Ricky is and I just wanted to do something for real, you know, it, it, and I've had people ask if I would make prints of that because there's a lot of people who would like to have a print of it because it represents Ricky and Ricky's dear to everybody here, but uh, I'm not going to make prints of it, it was something I just wanted to do especially for Ricky, it's, it's, I want him to, you know, everybody looks after Ricky when he's here, uh, everybody gives him meals, you know, uh, Every year he comes by, Penny gives him a t-shirt from her selection here. And Ricky's definitely a part of the brotherhood of this. He's a very large part. Oh, you want me want in there too? Okay. Ricky oh. wants a picture with some ladies. <laughs> I ride because I love freedom, independence, and the movement of the road beneath me. Happiness is a motorcycle, a full tank, and a twisty road. Now is when life happens. Ride, be real, and ride for real. Hey gang, JD here. You know, I'm not really into titles, but for official purposes, I am the president and founder of Freedom Biker Tours and a longtime travel, tourism, and hospitality professional. Throttle therapy doesn't necessarily mean going fast. Today, we enjoyed the paved country road and the feeling of the sun on our skin and the wind in our hair. Alberta, the glassy lakes and curious wildlife of Elk Island National Park. Elk Island is a designated biosphere reserve just 35 minutes southeast of Edmonton. The old school biker culture started after the Second World War, when returning veterans needed an outlet for their PTSD, although it wasn't called the PTSD back then. They started getting together and riding motorcycles, which provided the camaraderie and an outlet that they needed, and it all grew from there. Bikers have been given a bad rap over the years in many respects. Hollywood is to blame for that. Part of Freedom Biker Tour's mission is to dispel that stereotype. The truth is, bikers have a close bond. We help each other. It's in our nature. Bikers are very charitable. We're here for you. That's brotherhood and sisterhood for the ladies who ride. The core values of Freedom Biker Tours are freedom, authenticity, acceptance, and brotherhood. Now, not freedom in the traditional sense that many people think. We're talking about freedom of the open road, 
the freedom of not riding inside a vehicle. Bikers call it being cage free. Your senses are alive and heightened. You see, hear, and smell your surroundings. You feel the wind and the sun. You experience it all. Authenticity, well, that's just being yourself, self-expressing, no judgment. Acceptance, our third value, accompanies the authenticity piece. If you ride and share the same passion and values, we want you to ride with us. You'll be accepted. It doesn't matter what you ride, just that you do ride. The fourth value is brotherhood also connected to the authenticity and acceptance pieces. Brotherhood kind of speaks for itself. And at Freedom Biker Tours, we believe the world needs a lot more brotherhood. That is our message. There's an old saying in the biker culture, if I have to explain it, you wouldn't understand. Riding a motorcycle in itself is a form of meditation. One definition I found goes like this. Throttle therapy is a term for time spent on a motorized bike with the intent to enjoy feelings of euphoria that may exceed the capabilities of prescription or illegal drugs. <laughs> Pretty cool definition, don't you think? You feel good while you're riding and after you ride. <laughs>